on this day, the 11th of November, the 11th minute of the 11th hour of the 11th day of the fourth year of the greatest war in history up to that point. World War I finally ended. We all know the 11th of November as Armistice Day and it has become uh, almost a holy day in many countries because up to this point it was, well up to that point it had been the most devastating war ever. Four years the world had completely changed. Russia was gone. The Ottoman Empire was gone. The German Empire was now a republic. The Austrian Empire had collapsed into a do half a dozen little Austrias. And somewhere in the region of 11, 12 million soldiers were dead. And possibly up to another 20 million civilians had died as a result of the war. So, at Compen, at 5.45 a.m., the Allied Supreme Commander, the French Marshal Ferdinand Foch, signed the agreement with the Germans, and it was to come into force at 11 a.m. Paris time. So that was going to be marked the victory of the Allies, their defeat for Germany, although it had not officially surrendered at this point. So what happened, what the Germans had to do, was cease all military activity at 11 a.m., withdraw all German forces from west of the Rhine. The Allies were to occupy the Rhineland and bridgeheads. The Germans were to preserve infrastructure. They were to hand over warships, military material, and aircraft. They were to release all Allied prisoners of war, and in turn, civilians. They also agreed to eventual reparations. Also a part of this agreement, there'd be no relaxation of the naval blockade, which had led to big problems in Germany over the past few years. And uh, hunger, almost famine. Now, this armistice was extended three times until the Treaty of Versailles was finally signed in 1919. But what interests me about this day is the fighting still went on for a few more hours. Why they couldn't have just said, let's stop it now. They could have still officially had it at 11, 11, 11. But up to 2,700 men died between the signing of the agreement, the ceasefire, and the 11th minute of the 11th hour of the 11th month. Almost 3,000 men. The last Frenchman Augustine Trebuchon was shot when he went to tell his comrades who were attempting an assault across the Meuse River. Why are you attempting an assault when the war is about to be over? But he was going to tell them that hot soup would be served after the ceasefire. He was killed at a quarter to eleven, fifteen minutes before the final shots rang out. The last British soldier to die, George Edwin Ellison, of the 5th Royal Irish Lancers, was killed at half nine, while scouting on the Earth's outskirts of Mons in Belgium. Again, why are you doing any of this? Stay back. The war's about to be over. The final Canadian, George Lawrence Price, was shot and killed by a sniper whilst being part of a force advancing into the Belgian town of Ville-sur-Han. Two minutes 
before the armistice. Again, why are these people doing this? The, Amer and the last American, Henry Gunther, killed 60 seconds before the armistice came into force while charging German troops. They, were all, they, were, they knew the armistice was almost upon them. Apparently he had been depressed because of a recent reduction in rank and was trying to redeem his reputation. Well, he got killed. So, these were the last fellows to die on the Western Front. Of the Allies, I'm sure there are some Germans that we don't know about. But it does seem like a complete waste of 3,000 lives. The war didn't end though officially, well, it did end officially, it didn't end in fact on that day. They were still fighting, the Germans, in what is now Northern Rhodesia. Well, Zambia was Northern Rhodesia back then. They were fighting German forces that had originally come from Tanganyika, German East Africa. And it took two weeks for them to find out that the war was over in Europe and so they had to make their own armistice at the time. So, what a waste. 3,000 men. So, on this day, the 11th of November, 1918, the armistice at Compen is signed, and yet 3,000 men still die before the armistice. Okay, so if you like these videos, comment, like, subscribe, and come back tomorrow for more.